how well do you know about absorption rate and market turnover when it comes to serving your buyer and seller in your community? And if you never heard of market turnover and absorption rate, it's time to learn about it because those are important indicators to see when it comes to putting effort, time, and money in to a community you maybe want to break in or find out it even doesn't make sense to serve that market. Hello, Chris Scott and guten Tag. My name is Annette Block. I am a real estate broker and your favorite real estate marketing mentor dedicated to making you the number one agent in your community. And especially when you never heard of market turnover and absorption rate, because those are important indicators that tell tells you where that community is standing. Is it open to your message? Is it open to get market to? It can be a seller's market. It can be a buyer's market. It also could mean you want to advertise or bring your market or your message to a buyer's market or your message to a seller's market. But if you don't know about absorption rate or market turnover, it's time to get into the numbers. And we have those numbers on an Excel sheet where we are watching every month going into our MLS, our multiple uh, listing service where we are pulling the numbers. How many markets are, um, how many homes are on the market? How many homes have sold? How many homes are in that community in general? And then we see uh, how many uh, months of supply or market supply is on the market. And we all know when it comes to months of supply, it is an important indicator if we are in a buyer's market or if we are in a seller's market. We have that Excel sheet. So if you want that Excel sheet, let me know down below Excel and I will make sure that you get that uh, Excel sheet where you are plugging in that numbers. We have it color coded and you see exactly if your market is a buyer's market or even if it is a neutral market or if it is a seller's market. We are doing this for every zip code, for every community. We are not going broad. We want to know this numbers for the market we want to break in or we are serving. So we don't want to be um, a, a, a realtor for everyone and everywhere because then we will be a realtor for no one and for nowhere. That's why it's important that we know our absorption rate and our market turnover. So when we are looking at the absorption rate, I want to make sure that everything what is under 5%, I understand it is a buyer, buyer's market. It makes sense now to market in that area, to market to buyers and sellers, especially now where we are in the turnover, especially in the in industry where everything is not very sure if we even have buyers representation out there and when you want to represent buyers or don't want to represent buyers it's a choice you are making but also you would consult the numbers that are out there for that community that is the first indicator if it even makes sense to bring out your message to your market if it is a buyer or a seller so everything under 5% absorption rate, we do have a buyer's market. Now, when I take a look at the absorption rate, I want to make sure that the absorption rate is high. What does it mean, the absorption rate? The absorption rate means that homes are selling in that community. If I have a low absorption rate, that means they are not always homes on the market. Maybe there are only two homes in a year in the market. Does it make sense to market to that community? Yes, in a certain way, but not in general. 
It makes sense when I have a buyer that wants to buy. Now I can do personal marketing, but it doesn't make sense when it comes to time, effort, and money to go into that market and very strategic market to that community. So when it comes to market turnover, I want to have a number around 10, 15% or even higher because now I know there are always homes selling in that market. It doesn't make sense when only two homes are selling in a year, it doesn't make sense to bring your money and efforts into that community. But when I see there is a high turnover rate, there is always there are always home selling. Now it makes sense to market to those sellers or to have a marketing strategy in place where my time, my efforts, and my money make sense to break into that community. So I'm not talking general. I'm talking about knowing the zip code, knowing the community. We have huge communities down here in South Florida where I have enough homes to stay in front of that market. So in overall, if you are serving buyers, you want to have an absorption rate under 5%, then we know there are enough buyers out there and it is a buyer's market. I also want to make sure when I market to a community that my absorption rate is over 10, 15%, the higher, the better, then I know there are enough homes for sale in a year in the community. And how we are getting to these numbers, we are going into the MLS. We have an Excel sheet I'm happy to share with you. So let me know down below Excel and I will send you our Excel sheet where we are putting in the numbers we are taking every month out of the MLS and getting there, getting the numbers in there. And it's all color coded. So I know on, on a quick overview, is it a buyer's market? Is it a zealous market? And do I even want to break for that time into a market? So we are looking those all the time quarterly. We are looking the numbers monthly, making sure that our efforts, our time, and our marketing dollars are well spent. And if you want to learn absorption rate and market turnover, know that communities, and know how to bring your message to the market. And our Excel sheet will help you to stay top of mind. Just let me know down below if you need it.